Hello everyone, it's Lurks here. Welcome to my channel and today it's how to remove the rear light cluster on your Vespa GTS. If you're going to be working on the Vespa, make sure you've got a lovely cup of tea. Right, let's get cracking. This is the Vespa GTS model here and this is actually a Vespa GTS 300 and there's a link above now about the seven things that I love about the Vespa GTS 300. It's definitely worth checking out if you're thinking of buying one second hand. Okay, so if you're lucky enough to have the original toolbox on your Vespa GTS, you're going to need the Torx Allen key. And this is what you'll need to actually remove the rear bulb cluster. But for today, I'm just going to use my own Torx Allen key. Get that on the nut there and then turn it anti-clockwise to remove. Just keep turning it until the nut comes out. And there's also a link above now about the five things that I hate about my Vespa GTS 300. Again, it's definitely worth checking it out if you're thinking of buying one second hand. Now, once that nut is removed, what you need to do is you need to pull the bulb cluster housing downwards and outwards, but don't pull it out too far because obviously the lights are plugged into a connector and you don't want to break that wire. So just pull it down and pull it out. And there we go. So let's just turn it round. And you can see there the two divots, that's what holds it in place against the chassis. So those divots actually sit up inside there. Right, so what we're going to do now is just unplug the connector. And this is very simple to do. You just push this button at the top and then it just slides out. And then we'll lay the bulb cluster housing down on a rag on the floor. And then I'll just show you what the bulbs are. Before I do that, there's a link above now about the battery location and how to check the battery on your Vespa GTS. Right, so this is the bulb cluster housing here. And what you've got is you've got three bulbs in this unit. The top one is the tail light bulb. So this is the bulb that is permanently on as soon as you've got the ignition on. And this middle bulb here is the brake light bulb. This activates when you pull either the left or the right brake lever. And the bulb at the bottom is the number plate bulb. Now I'll put some links in the pinned comments below showing you how to remove each of these bulbs. It's definitely worth checking out those videos if you need to replace any of those bulbs. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just get that bulb cluster housing back on. So just plug the connector back in. It can only go in one way so you can't damage it. And there's a link above now about how to put your Vespa on the center stand easily. Okay, to put the bulb cluster housing back in, just line it up but put it in a little bit lower and then you're basically sliding it upwards so those two divots slide up into the chassis then give it a little tap at the bottom and then that bolt should line up at the bottom and you can get that bolt in as with any bolts always put them in by hand first just so it takes the thread once it's taken the thread you can then get your torx allen key on there and just tighten it up don't over tighten it because you don't want to damage it and there's a link above now about the fuse box location and how to check the fuses on your Vespa GTS. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here for more how to's, helpful tips and life hacks. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.